Hey everybody, this is Chris from Stylish Grease Monkey. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, yesterday or the day before, I released a video on cleaning the 875. is quite long, it's about 47 minutes. So I titled it The Long Version, and thank you very much for those of you that are viewing that and, wa and watching it. I know some like the long video, like the scrubbing and every all the details that goes into cleaning boots, but some don't, right? Some like the five minute video. So here's a video, five minutes, explaining what I did to clean the 875. So just like any job, you need tools. And here I go about the tools that I need for this job. So I'm gonna use a few things to clean it, of course. First and foremost, I am going to use saddle soap. Understand that some people or some expert don't recommend saddle soap, just water, uh, but it's quite dirty. So I'm gonna use saddle soap because I've done it before and it worked really well. Um, brushes different kind of brushes just to go over some of the things I'm going to use to remove tough dirt, loose dirt, whatever have you. This right here, small brush to, to clean the uh, stitching. Of course, rag to wipe down the excess. Uh, I'm still going to use water, so I have a bucket of water, I have a, a bowl of water here to wet the saddle soap and for reconditioning I am going to try mink oil in a small area uh, and if it works out then I'm going to use mink oil on the whole pair of boots some of you are probably cringe with me doing that but mink oil protects and uh, um, conditions and waterproofs any leather so this one is for any leather smooth leather and lastly I am probably going to use the big four more which is uh, conditions and cleans and polishes and protects your leather any type of leather and that one doesn't darken the leather always wanted to try a spoon to clean the outsole the edges of the outsole right here so we'll see if it works salad soap and spoon and a little bit of water that should clean it you know a couple of explanations here I use saddle soap because that's what I've used for leather before and it worked uh, there are other things that you can use to clean leather. That's all up to you, your opinion. That's your, you know, experimentation, whatever have you. I can tell you the saddle soap does not uh, hurt the leather that I clean, such as new buck leather. It works for it. One key thing that I do is that I wash it with the, you know, using the saddle soap and water, but I wipe it down, only do a small section at a time. That way the water don't seep into the leather and ruin it. Really the goal is to remove the surface dirt and it works really well, saddle soap and water. All right guys, to start off, I wanted to do the soles first and focus on that before I focus on the, on the rest of the boots. But in the middle of it, I decided to just go ahead and do the rest of the boots, finish it off and just clean it with saddle soap and water and then go back and use this tool that I have not used before called the spoon <laughs> and the saddle soap on the white soles of the boots and that way I can take my time and really kind of put pressure on the areas that are really, really dirty, which by the way, worked out really well and I'm glad it worked out really well. If you're anal about making sure that the stitching is clean, you can use a toothbrush and salad soap on those areas to make sure that, that you get into the very nitty gritty and it really does clean the stitching, the white part of the stitching when you use a toothbrush. Drying time. There's drying time. While I'm doing one boot, the other one is drying. Uh, it was sunny that day, so I had it a little bit on the sun uh, and it dried really quickly so that I'm ready to move on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, here I tried to use uh, mink oil first, but by trying it to put it in a small area to make sure that it is what I want to use. Main coil is great because it's waterproof and it really kind of rejuvenates the boots. The only thing about mink oil is that as tested here, a small area became dark and I didn't want that to happen to the 875. So I moved on to what uh, I used before. It's, it's called the Big More 4 or Big 4. It's available on Amazon if you want to get that. And that product right there is 
good for any smooth leather. It doesn't darken it. I did use the mink oil though on the front of the boots in which I want it to darken anyways. It's like an area that's been scrubbed off for too much use. At the very end, I went ahead and used uh, horse hair to brush off, brush the uh, pair of boots to just kind of even out the, uh, the big four that I applied on it. All of the things that I do in here are recommendations and those are my experimentations that work. Previously, I used the magic eraser for the sole of this pair of boots, the creep sole. Uh, it works somewhat, but it kind of just broke down because it was rough and I was putting too much pressure on it. The spoon and the saddle soap work, guys. I've used greenie weenies in the past with the saddle soap that also work, but the spoon, in my opinion, for me, works a lot better. These are my opinion, these are my experimentation. Take what you need and leave the rest, whatever have you, but I will continue to make videos on what I do to clean the boots that I have, the Red Wings, Thorgood, whatever have you, and also make videos of me taking care of my salvage jeans and things like that. For your own use and my use, I'm just sharing it here, guys. That is all I have for you today. Aloha.